Hello, I am Shade Giliberti. Welcome to the first ever Standard Bank web show. This is a fortnightly show that will equip you with, tip, uh, with tips on how to secure your spot on the top. Today we have our studio guest who is um, very well known. He discovered music at the age of 10. He's one of South Africa's top DJs and music producer. We don't know him as this, Cleopas Manyopae, but other people know him as DJ Cleo. He is no stranger to the music industry at all or show business. And today he'll be sharing his secrets of success and how he made it in showbiz. Cleo, welcome to the show. Thanks for inviting me. Thank you very much for being here for our cool. first one. Now, I'm just going to cut to the chase and get to the 411. Please tell us about DJ Cleo. Well, I'm a very inspired and blessed uh, young man, um, talented and very confident, and I'm a go-getter. And yeah, man, I go, if I want something, I go for it, and the rest is history. Well, there we go. Let's talk about the secrets of success, more specifically making it in the music industry. As an entrepreneur, you started up Will of Steel Productions in 2001. Yeah. Um, what have you had to do to get such amazing and talented people onto your stable? Well, for one, I was mentored by DJ Fresh, mm. you know, and Lance from Get Rough. And I was willing to be led and mentored, you know, and be taught. And I learned a lot of things, you know, and I guess talent will always attract talent and talent will it's, it's easy for talent to associate with another talent, mm. you know what I mean? And that's how I pretty much attracted everyone that, that I've worked with. And you kind of feed off each other. Yeah. Nice, very nice. Uh, what does it take to become a successful entrepreneur? Well, there's no blueprint for success, really, but there's certain tips that I can give personally from mm. experience, you know, like um, perseverance and um, doing it for the love and not for the money because half the time you don't see the money. You know? Yeah, and that's yeah. where people get it twisted because yeah. they think that if you're going to go into the music industry, you're going to become a millionaire within a year. But yeah. you actually should, should be doing it because you love music and you want people to dance to your music or whatever. Yeah, and don't do it because you want to be like that guy. Yeah. No, because be you, I'm me, Shade is herself. Mm. You know, yeah. Very powerful words there, very, very. Your skills are, uh, a disp have, you know, have taken you overseas and you've been to musical capitals like the yeah. US and Europe and you've worked with huge stars and massive stages. Um, what does it take for you to get that far in the music industry and to go overseas and what is the music industry overseas like compared to South Africa? Well, one thing is that um, they look after their own and they're only interested in their own kind of, their own people, mm. you know, so for them to take, to take note of anyone else that comes from outside, um, it, it takes you, like charity begins at home, you know, you need to be a star at home first before you, you can expect to be a star anywhere else. True. And that's the case with the likes of Hugh Masekela, Lady Smith, Black Mambazo, um, the Soweto Gospel Choir, etc, etc. Mm. Yeah, so um, it's for me started at home first and then I looked outwards and yeah man, like I said, the rest is history, you know, um, the, the world is my playground now. Which is a great thing. Can you name some of the artists that you've worked with in case people like have no idea that you've been to Europe and the US? Yeah, I've worked with the likes of Swami. Uh, I've done one or two remixes for Praz of the Fujis. Nice. Um, gosh, the list is, you know, it's an, an unexpected <laughs> question, man, so I'm trying to think. Uh, but Keith Murray, um, and I've, I've done remixes for a couple of house, big house, household names mm. um, like Frank Roger. And, um, yeah, man, I was, I'm still pushing hard, you know, but I'm one of those people that are more interested in the home market mm. because when I retire, I'm not going to retire in the U.S. I'm not going to retire in Europe. Yes. You know, this is home. Exactly. So, um, this that's is where it starts, this is where it ends. Yeah. So that's why you'll find that my business model centers mainly around Africa and as opposed to the rest of the world because... This is home. Yeah. yeah. I think you have the right idea there. Uh, well, you know, because when unique and diverse musicians from all over the world come together, that's how great music is made. You know, yeah. and the fact that you're going out there and giving them a flavor of Cleo from South Africa, I think that's absolutely phenomenal. Our chat line is buzzing. People are coming in and asking questions and all sorts. But before we get there, we're going to give you our 10 tips and secrets of success to help you meet your goals and turn your dreams into reality. Tip one, how you think is very important. Remember to think positively at every opportunity. Visualize success, not failure. And avoid, avoid negative environments and people. Tip two, 
Decide on your dream and goals. You need to be specific about your goals. Therefore, it is important to create a plan to reach your goals and you have to stick to it. You can't just be like, yeah, I'm going to be a musician and then you do nothing about it. You've got to do something. Tip three, take action. Setting a goal means that you have to take action. Action. Setting a goal alone has no meaning. You need to take action to make it real. Don't let fear hold you back. Just do it. And that specific line has been my motto for this week. Just do it. Tip four, never stop learning. Take classes. If you're not already at school, go back to school. Read books. Join a discussion group. If you're interested in a subject, make time to learn about it. Keep acquiring new skills. You know, you're never too old to learn. That's my father taught me. You know, he's learning about computers now at the tender age of 65. <laughs> Tip five, be persistent and work hard. You've probably heard the expression, success is a marathon, not a sprint. Keep your eye on the goal and keep working towards it. Don't ever give up. Tip six, Learn to analyze details. Get all the facts and ask for input. This will help you make, your dis make wiser decisions, acknowledge your mistakes, but don't beat yourself up. Rather, learn from them. That's what they're there for. Tip seven, focus your time and money. When you believe in something, pull your attention to it, you know? Actually go there and go, this is what I want to do. This is where everything's going to go. Be true to yourself and have your own ideas and your own decisions. And don't be afraid to be innovative, you know? Um, tip nine. Let's move on to tip nine. Communicate with people effectively. Remember that no person is an island. Communicate your thoughts and desires honestly and encourage others to communicate honestly with you. Practice understanding and motivating other people. And our final tip for today, be honest and dependable. Take responsibility for what you do. Never cheat or lie. When you make a promise, keep it. When you mess up, admit to it. Very simple. Don't you think? No, I think so. Do you I have agree. anything that you want to add to those tips? I just want to reiterate the success one. My version of it is success is not a destination, but a journey. Yes. For me, I'm not successful. This is part of my success trip. This is part of my success journey. That's this a nice interview, one. This actual interview yeah. is actually part of it. Yeah. I really like that one. I hope you guys were listening to that one. But now let's, you know, let's take some